Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to do something a little bit different. We are going to talk about the new trap changes that came with the 12.0 update. Well, let's find out. Alright, so with the 12.0 update, there was some changes done to the trap schematics. Um, basically, they have nerfed the ceiling trap. What I'm going to talk to you primarily today is about the gas trap, the, I mean the, the ceiling traps, the ceiling traps in general. Uh, so the gas trap has kind of been nerfed now, that is not the number one trap anymore to kill husk right now the best out there right now is these two the ceiling drop trap and the ceiling electric field um, just the, the i think the ceiling zapper i think wait um, yeah the ceiling zapper is actually the one that deals most damage but with propane tanks and all i really do not like to use it and if you're using it you do have to use a top into it to get more damage with it it can go up to i mean if you go draw it you can go up to around 1 million damage and that's a lot that's a huge amount of damage from a trap but for me to use for war games to use for Storm shield defenses right now the best traps out there are these two So the ceiling electric field and the ceiling drop trap The biggest thing that you have to know is that now the ceiling electric field can be changed into energy element previously it was locked to Nature yeah, it was locked to nature, but now it can be changed to energy element and it deals more damage like this because with energy element it was on you can only use it with water husks which honestly is not that good but with the energy element now you can use it with any husk out there and it can deal a lot of damage now they have buffed the damage and most importantly what they have done is they have increased the range of the damage these are my perks for this. Uh, I do have to go draw it. I'm still on the testing phase, so this is what I'm doing with this durability, reload speed, reload speed, durability, and energy. And for the ceiling drop trap, these are my perks for it as of now. And these seem to be working very well for me. Um, yeah, let's go to a match and find out. Alright guys, so to demonstrate this, I am in a small power level mission. I am in a plan cutting mission right now because I don't want to use, like waste my resources building traps, 130 traps right now. Um, so this is basically what the changes do. The traps have increased their range right now. So you can actually build them up to 3 tiles high and they are still effective. That is a huge, huge, huge advantage. Why? Well, you have to think about it like this. With the earlier updates, with the propane tankers exploding and destroying everything, you couldn't really build trap tunnels. That was one of the biggest issues that we had with the last update. So with this update, they have nerfed the propane husks, but in the meantime what they have done is they have buffed up the damage done by the traps and they have uh, increased the range of the traps so even a propane tank explode here they would destroy the flow spikes but they would not destroy the tanks up there so as you can see that was actually working there so you can like uh, build it for three tiles high and the other thing is with the 11 something update that came they implemented something called the unreal chaos engine this enables something really important that really changed how these traps work 
for a moment forgetting forgetting about the ceiling uh, the zapper trap here uh, the electric field the drop traps the tires bounce now it, earlier the tires did not bounce the higher you put them up the more bounce that it does and with every bounce it does damage to the husks so you can do a lot more damage with this trap than you could with something like a gas trap right now mind you gas trap is still only one tile up so it, it will only work if you build something like this if it's any higher than this something like this it will not work so you have to keep that in mind as well so i'm gonna start the mission now i think i have covered most of the places where the husk might appear uh, hopefully i've got them all now and uh, uh, let's see let's see how it works So here you can see there's a one tile uh, here and this is two tiles. There, that's, that's the thing. You can see the uh, tires are bouncing now. Get out. So that's going to do additional damage from what it did before. So here you can see that these steps are working with two tiles up. I was hoping someone would come here as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can see when the higher the traps are, the, the, the drop trap, the more it bounces and the more it spreads out. So it's gonna do a deal, it's gonna deal damage in a bigger area. It was just one drop, see, just one drop took out all those husk over there. That's working beautifully. Traps here are working beautifully, and the traps here are working beautifully as well. You see, you actually don't even need to do a lot of traps right now because if you can get the tri uh, the uh, the tires to bounce, you can actually just do this mission with like two, three traps. It's actually kind of OP now. It's really OP now compared to what it was before because earlier I would actually never even touch the drop trap. I would always go for the gas trap and that was my go to ceiling trap. So you don't even need something like this with the wooden force spike but uh, it's kinda easy to have it. I didn't see the electric field working there, but that also works up to three tiles high now. Oh, it was working there. So the electric field, they have increased the damage. They have changed the damage from uh, yeah, nature to energy, so it will damage to physical husk, any kind of uh, elemental husk right now. So. It's actually kind of OP now. These two traps, you just you can just win a match with these with these three combo. You can easily win a match. But uh, I haven't upgraded my zapper trap. But I've heard, I've seen on other YouTubers do this. But with a zapper trap, if you combine it with a let's say a tarp it as a timeout room, it can deal more damage now to bigger husks. So yeah, guys that's it for my quick demonstration of the traps what they have changed with the traps yes so the drop trap and the electric field are right now the best two traps out there right now i mean if you want to go for full damage anything like crazy damage you can go i mean look at it just look at it um this is 130 it's 426 this is 130 and 584 and this is 600 and it's only power level 20 so it's gonna go up it's gonna go crazy up this right now this is i think this is the trap that does the most damage in the game so 
yeah, pretty good. I mean, pretty good update right now. They nerfed the propane tankers. I mean, you still have them. They still do damage, but you don't get them as much as before. They buff the traps, and they can and changing the element to energy really really helps. So yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.